Hey folks, this is James. Say, I want to share with you uh, one of my passions, and um, that's uh, building uh, boats at home. I uh, retired now, and I like woodworking, and um, I want to show you a couple of boats that I've built. Uh, this was my very first boat I built a couple of years ago, and uh, it was a nine-foot boat. And it was made, uh, the sides are made out of fabric, uh, fabric over frame boat, a little nine foot rowboat. And I decided uh, it was a little too small and I, I could actually do it. So I got a hold of some plans from Jeff Spira International and uh, got this little beauty made. This is um, a 14 foot uh, Seneca. They call it a Seneca. It's a, um, they, they call a Pacific Powered Dory. Um, had a six foot beam. I rigged it out to a, being a center console and decked out, uh, the adorned it with uh, mahogany. And uh, it was a good boat. That was my second. This was my third, which is also a Jeff Spira. He calls this the uh, catchman or catch mark and um, I turned it into an 18 foot and this is what they call a V uh, Carolina V Dory and uh, with a six foot beam and I turned it into kind of a cuddy cabin type of uh, setup. Uh, this is my third boat and uh, runs really well. This is sitting on the water. I got a 90 horse Suzuki. Uh, one thing I want to show you is this boat has, I added on this boat collar from Captain Collar. They're out of Australia. And I had it ordered and shipped over here and it tremendously helped this boat out um, along with the uh, hydrofoil I put on. Probably got it overpowered a little bit too much. Maybe probably should only put a 70 horse on there. But um, the, uh, the specs all said it could hold a 90, and that's what I rigged it out for. I had to add the uh, hydrofoil on there because it was, uh, you know, when I'd get over about 25 miles an hour, it would start porpoising, boom, 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 boom. And uh, that took it completely away, adding that uh, hydrofoil on. But then uh, with a narrow beam, it ended up being a little tippy. And then obviously I'm sitting on the side, so it's listing kind of, you know, going down at slow speeds, you know, listing to the starboard side, the right side. So um, I ordered the uh, boat uh, collar, and boy, that thing was awesome. Um, rock solid, bigger footprint in the water, and uh, much more stability to the boat. Great boat, love it now. But uh, that was all finished. And so now I decided, you know what? I really enjoy like building boats. And I ordered the plans for this uh, Ken Hawkinson designed uh, boat, which is a pilot house boat. You can see it's going to have some uh, sleeping berth. And um, it's a good eight foot beam. There's the specs on it. And um, you could make it either a 19 foot or a 20.6. And I'm going to opt to the 20.6. So this is what you get. You get the plan. You get basic instructions. You get these um, sheets of uh, blueprints and show you how to build the frame. Um, I put it on this um, and laminated it on this Dollar Tree. Uh, foam board just to keep it more organized and then you get the rolled plans which are uh, full-size plans with the uh, lofting lines which basically gives you the the shape of the frames you can see I've done the um, transom here I have down here the, the plywood cutout for that transom and uh, you know, it's uh, it's a good thing. So um, I ended up buying this uh, book too that Glenn L sells, building uh, 
ply boat building with plywood. Um, pretty good, I'd have to say. Um, if you have any woodworking skills whatsoever, um, you, you're going to be able to do a project like this. Uh, it's not without the reach of uh, handyman, amateur, um, woodworker, which that's exactly what I am, and you see what I could produce. Uh, I don't have any professional woodworking skills. I have some power tools. I have some space. Uh, I have a table saw. Um, but, um, you know, it, it's a, it's within your reach. And I like it because you pay as you go. You know, I could build that. Um, this boat here probably has, it cost me about 15000 with the motor and the trailer. And, um... That's a $25,000 boat all day long. Easy. So, um, you got to forgive my uh, my camera skills. This is, I'm just a guy with a, uh, a cell phone. I, um, I don't have good editing skills. I make probably very amateurish type of uh, videos. But uh, there's other guys that are interested in doing something over the winter. I'm building up these frames. I am down here in Florida, so I have better weather, or I could work outside. Right now, I'm in my screen house, and um, but uh, you know, I just want to show you how I do it. I don't want to, you know, show you how to build a boat, but pictures say, you know, a thousand words. The old saying is, and making a video kind of helps. I know I've learned a lot from other people's videos. And um, I'm trying to do the same. Put it back out there. Good karma, right? So um, here's my, uh, my transom that I built so far. Um, you know, with these plans, you just get a, a paper. Um, this is about a nine foot long set of plans. And what I did, and I suggest to you, if you're going to go do this route with uh, getting full size pattern plans from Glen L., uh, is go to your local print shop and see if they can laminate it for you. It cost me about $75 to uh, get these plans laminated. But trust me, the way you got to put out your lofting lines, um, if you just had a sheet of paper, you could do it. But let me tell you something. It, it's not going to be easy. That paper would be rip, ripping all day long. Um at least for these plans and how I'm doing this. Uh, let me show you how I got mine set up. Um, this is the basic line that they give for this for this particular frame. And it's just one line. That's basically what's there, those lines you see. And you'll trace, uh, put the plans down, and take some carbon paper so the carbon's facing down and up. And um, you'll go and trace over the lines and uh, make a mark that's on this piece of plywood. And then it will also transfer the lines onto, you can see it right there, onto the back side of the, uh, the plans. And you flip the plans over and you make your other um, lines. You can see this comes out. I got everything in the way here. But um, what I'm saying is, if you didn't have them laminated, these plans would get torn up really fast. Or either that, make a couple of copies so you could reuse them. Uh, someone said to me, well, you know, if you, um, if you laminate them, you might distort the lines. Well, if you, when they get distorted, they're all going to get distorted the same. So that same distortion is just going to follow through, and it won't be that big of a distortion in the plans, whereas it's going to affect the look of the boat. The basic integrity and structure of it's still going to be there. Um, this is the way I see it. I, I'm so glad I spent the extra 75 bucks to uh, laminate these plans. But look, uh, like your comments, uh, like this video, subscribe. And um, hopefully I'm going to get a video every uh, week to show my progress on how the frames are going and how this boat's going together. This is the Schnook by Glenel, a Ken Hawkinson design. Thanks. Bye-bye.